Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a travel day, another one, but the final one for a while, probably. Just finished up a nice long weekend. Yesterday was family day, so I spent the day with my parents and Brady, which was so nice, because obviously I'm not gonna see them for a while. Today I'm heading back to LA for the rest of winter. That's crazy. I think it's mostly crazy because I didn't think I would do that. But here I am. You know, I just have the one way. So in theory, I could like dip out for a while. We will see. I had a great long weekend though. It was a good last weekend in the city. I spent all of Sunday with a new friend named Sarah. I spent the afternoon just like wandering the city and it just like made me feel appreciative of this city. And I'm excited to come back and like have nice weather and enjoy it and like do all these outdoor things. Lots of fun to come, but before then we are Hop it on a plane, getting off at LAX. I obviously had a lot of emotions last time I was there, which I want to talk about. But before that, we're gonna work out, shower, wash the hair, and get ready to go. And then extend. Try and maintain the control. Lift and lift. All right, we're feeling fresh. I'm gonna do my travel day skincare, but before I do that, I wanna do my laser before I leave. I do have one there, but I kinda wanna just do it before I leave. I've worked with Kenzie for like the past two years. If you haven't heard me talk about it by some chance, Kenzie is an at-home IPL laser device. It is fantastic. I have their Ice IPL, here it is. I use this pretty much every single month, but I don't really like need to. It's purely for touch-ups. I'm not new to laser by any means. I've done laser for like I don't know, last 10 plus years of my life. I've always been a hairy individual. <laughs> I had a lot of hair on my arms growing up. It was a big insecurity of mine. Now I have no hair on my arms. I got that done when I was a lot younger. I also did my face and underarms when I was younger. And I just like, I love laser. It's the best. It's like my favorite form of hair removal. It's just a lot lower maintenance, but I will say going in person to get the professional services is very expensive. It's not super convenient because you have to like go there. And it's like a whole, it's a journey. Also, if you're not super comfortable, you know, like exposing yourself in public, this is really nice to have. You can laser your bikini, you can laser whatever you want, and you don't have to worry about it. Because I, I am not much of a, you know, go out there and, you know. This is at home, in my bathroom, whenever I feel like using it, wherever I want to laser my body. Currently lasering my bikini line so that I don't have to worry about it when summer comes. You start to see some kind of results pretty quickly, like three, four weeks, but then the full results are in 12 weeks. Sometimes you need more than that depending on how stubborn your hair is. And that's what's so nice about having this is that like you don't have to keep making more appointments out in the world. This is just there whenever you need it. So after the 12 weeks, I like to just touch up the areas that I've lasered. Like I like to touch up my face every month and my underarms just to make sure nothing keeps coming back. Hair is stubborn. It's like never going to go away 100% but this reduces the growth, the hair, the thickness of the hair, like it really just minimizes everything, which is great. It's really all we can ask for. I started working with Kenzie and using their device back in like December of 2020 and I really, really like it. Like it's just so nice to have. The results are great. As I said, like it really minimizes the hair growth. Because I keep up with this, I have like maybe four hairs on my face, four. And they're so thin that you can't even see them. Like there's so many, but they just pop up occasionally, usually around my period. My underarms, I also have like two hairs under each arm. It's like the bare minimum and it's so nice. I, I love it. So let me show you how easy this is. I just plug it in and then there's different settings. So I go to the highest setting, but I recommend kind of trying it out first and seeing how it feels. I don't find it painful personally. You do feel like a little bit of a zap and some warmth, but I have the ice IPL though. So this is like a little metal cooling plate, which just kind of minimizes any of the feeling of the laser, but I still don't find it very bad. And then all you do is really just zap. You click the little button. They recommend sunglasses or something to protect your eyes, but I just, I just close them and it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'm gonna do my bikini off camera. <laughs> code for Kenzie if you want to try it out. I highly recommend. Link is down below. You can use the code Tara20 for 20% off. Link is down below once again. Definitely check it out. Thank you Kenzie for sponsoring. Now as for my skin, I'm going to do a little serum. I really love this. It's the magic serum and I just feel like the skin looks so good. And for a travel day, I like to really pack on the moisture because my skin gets really dry when I travel. So I'm gonna use this Keys Rich Skin Transformation Cream. Just like a thick cream, but not too thick. My Tasha one, I only like to use when I go to sleep because it's like really heavy. This is a good in-between. I'm gonna leave it there for now. I might put on more before I leave. I have a few hours still. I'm also gonna let my hair air dry and then see what I feel like doing with it after the fact. But it is 12.06. So let's go make some food. This is actually like a like a brunch vibe and then I think I'm gonna have a little salad in a couple of hours. I mostly just wanna finish the food in my fridge and I have some rice and some veggies that I just wanna eat. I also have to get my vlog up onto my final avocado here. So we're gonna eat it. Where's the... Hi. 
I have been so obsessed with this exact meal. I can't stop, like I really can't, it's so good. But I fully anticipate that my fixation meal will be my my egg thing again, once I get back to LA. The weather's been wild today. It's like sunny now or the sun's trying to come through. It was snowing a few hours ago. You just never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Mmm, I gotta be honest, I am upset with myself. I had every reason, every opportunity to not like do things at the last minute here today. I had every opportunity, but what did I do? I waited to pack until 20 minutes before I'm leaving. I don't know why I did that. Not that this is gonna be like a big pack job at all. It's gonna be really easy because I don't really have to pack a lot. I just didn't really give myself time I just didn't give myself time. What have I been doing? I don't even know. Either way, we're doing it now. We're doing it now. And then I got like a little bit of tidying to do. It's not messy, but I meant to put all that away too. Ah. Uh. successfully made it out the door. It got a little stressful at the very last minute there. So much so that I forgot my wallet. <laughs> and then we had to turn around and get the wallet. Thankfully we were like within the block, so it's okay. But it was just got a little chaotic. The time crept up on me out of nowhere and suddenly it was time to go. But I think I have everything now. We're on our way to the airport. I can't believe like I'm, I'm leaving for the rest of winter. Oh, I feel like that. They were gonna go too. They were like gonna come tomorrow actually to LA and then do like a whole trip, but the weather looks shit. So it just didn't make sense for them to go anymore. But obviously I'm gonna be there for a while. So it just didn't really matter to me if the weather's shit. I got some time there. Also my seatbelt is on, don't come for me. So weird coming in for the first time. I'm gonna do my routine spider check. No spiders in there. Let's turn on my air conditioning. I don't see any spiders. No spiders down here. This is truly my only concern when I leave this place is that that big black spider is gonna come back for me. Looks good. Uh, last place to check. In the clear. Oh my God. Overall, super easy travel day. My bag was the first off the carousel. I've literally never had that happen to me, but I'm taking it as a really good sign for this trip. I think all things are gonna be good. I'm willing them to be good. I read an entire book on the plane, The Housemaid's Secret, which is the sequel to The Housemaid. So good, loved it. Now I'm gonna make some gnocchi. It's just like my tradition, you know? Whenever I come back home somewhere, and we're back. See you tomorrow. We're back. Good morning, everybody. It is our first full day in LA. We got, I can't even believe I'm here for like some time. Like I'm here for time. I just got myself ready because I'm gonna go to Blue Bottle, get myself a little matcha to start the day. It's currently 9 a.m. And I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get my groceries for the week. I woke up at 5.45 in the morning. So love that. I actually do kind of love that. The jet lag does work in my favor when I'm here because then I just wake up early naturally and I get to start my day and I just, I like it. I did lay in bed till eight, but now I'm ready and I'm gonna start the day. And then of course I got lunch with Jilly. It feels like way longer since I've seen her, but it's only been a month and a half. Yeah, crazy. So excited though. We're gonna go to Zinc and we're gonna do like a little work day. So we're gonna bring our computers and the sun is shining. It is blue skies out there today, which I have to take in because it's not gonna be blue tomorrow. There it is, blue skies, not a cloud in them. Yet apparently tomorrow, storming. Friday, storming. 
Saturday, storming, but I don't care. I always live for a good change of scenery. It just like restarts my motivation and energy. If I stay in one place for too long, I start to get really lazy. That's what I'm learning. So I gotta keep on the go, which I plan to do this year. This is the big on the go year. We're gonna be moving. On the move at all times. Anyways, I'm gonna start my day. I just got myself ready, feeling good. We're heading out. First blue bottle for the matcha, which I hope is not a bitch to carry around, but I think it'll be fun. And then Trader Joe's. Thank you very much. I'm back and I have secured the goods. I got really as much as I could carry. I didn't go in with a list at all. There was no planning. So I hope, I mean, this will do. Either way, if there's something that I forgot, I can go back, so. The beauty of living by a Trader Joe's again. Okay, starting off strong. Greens mix. Kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, red cabbage. Some arugula, a classic, the spicy lentil wrap. I got the, the chicken I always get here. It's so good. It tastes like solid, fresh, delicious. And as we know, I can't cook it. I could try again, but I don't wanna. So here we are. I got this vegan buffalo dip. Sounds delicious. I have never seen this. Um, so you guys know I like my dips. This is a favorite dip of mine, had to get. The uh, cauliflower jalapeno dip. I got my hard boiled eggs in a bag. I know. Avocados. Two bags of sweet potato gnocchi because I ate one last night and it was my last one in the freezer and that's unacceptable. Always gotta have a bag. We got some shredded unexpected cheddar. This is my favorite cheese. It is so good. I got some tzatziki. And then I got this cowboy caviar. Corn, black beans, and pepper. And lastly I got some coffee and some creamer. We all know how I feel about the brown sugar creamer. It is so good. And that's the haul. I'm very content. I can't even believe that I'm back here for a certain amount of time where this is just like the grocery store I go to not just like every other month. It's now 10 o'clock and I have a couple hours till I'm gonna see my Jilly, so I'm just gonna get some work done because it's Wednesday and that's what I would do if I was back in Toronto. I always get kind of tripped up when I first get back here. I forget like how to be, like how I just do my normal. I'm, I just, I don't know. It throws me off for a few days, but then I'm, then we're Gucci. I'm eventually gonna have to do my suitcase, but I need to try. I hope these aren't too stale. I couldn't find these at the store, so we're just, I gotta try the buffalo dip. I'm so intrigued. It's like 100% dairy-free, plant-based. Mmm, it's good. Crackers are a little stale. Doesn't matter. Okay, something <laughs> that I think about all the time. There was one time that I just, it doesn't bother me, just I think it's funny. Like I laugh in my head all the time about this. At the beginning of the new year, I did a whole Instagram story thing asking people what they didn't like about my content, how to improve, things like that. And somebody dead ass, I don't, I don't remember exactly the wording, but it was something about how whenever I like, you know, audibly enjoy my food, I sound like a toddler. <laughs> And I thought it was so funny. I obviously react to my food. Like I really, I enjoy food and I like to express that. Not even that it's intentional. Like it just, this is how I am. And I just thought it was the funniest thing in the world that that was like toddler behavior. I think it's, people be crazy. <laughs> mm. There's just so many other things to like get upset over than someone enjoying their food. <laughs> but you know, to each their own. Mm. Okay, it is 12, 17, heading out to go meet Jill. I'm so excited. We're definitely gonna do our usual thing. Got our laptops, but like we're gonna talk for most of it. But we'll see, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to get things done. Hello. Okay, so I Ubered over to where Zink is. I went inside and then I looked at the menu and it said like Paloma Venice. And I was like, I don't think I'm in the right spot. Parking, like I'm confused. So I had to awkwardly get up and be like, oh, I'm at the wrong spot. <laughs> so bad. Anyways, the actual location is half a mile from here, so Jill's coming to grab me. I don't know how that happened. <gasps> it's cold. This wind. Oh, hello, Messi. That was so embarrassing. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Thank you so much. Jilly got 
little bowl. I got this um, broccoli something curry soup. I'm very excited with this little bread and it's actually cold enough to have the soup. Here we are, it. reunited. <laughs> it's been around five hours since we shot it. It's now 5.15, which means happy hour. Had to have it. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's give her a whirl. Yes, mm, so good. I saw it had vanilla Aww. on the menu. I Very always like this. You know, we figured why not. It's about to be raining for the next two days, so gotta take advantage. We're enjoying. <laughs> We're also getting some work done. We've been sitting here for hours. Literally. And so it's so nice in here. It's I so know. perfect. We're back, immediately back in my pajamas. It is 7 30. I'm gonna have a nice and cozy evening. The wind is blowing out there. Like, I cannot believe how windy it is. The palm trees are swaying. I've just never seen this in LA before and the weather's about to get insane starting tomorrow. But I'm home and I'm gonna make some dinner. Is it bad if I have the gnocchi again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I know I got all these groceries and like I could eat that, but I could also have a really nice warm bowl of gnocchi. I got two fresh bags and I feel like one of them is calling my name. I just do. It's cold out there, a warm soupy gnocchi. I think I have to do it. Just sounds great. Also, it's such a fun day. Love our classic work days. Like it just makes me so excited that we can have them again. Zinc was such a good vibe. Like it was just, it was really enjoyable. My espresso martini was delicious. I got so many fun plans coming up while I'm here that I'm really looking forward to. Lots of good stuff ahead in the vlogs, lots to discuss, but you know what? Let's make some gnocchi. <laughs> So I called my parents when I got back just to like say hi, I'm here, I'm alive. <laughs> and my mom asked me if I was gonna be sad giving up this apartment. And the answer is yes. She first asked me if it felt like home being back here. Set three minute timer. And the answer was also yes. I think that's why I feel so weird whenever I get back here because it truly feels like like home. Even though I haven't had this apartment the whole time, I've lived in LA. I really love this apartment. Like I really love it. There's something really nice about it when I come in the door and I know where everything is. Like I know where to grab, I know where all my seasonings are. Like I have all my things. I mean, obviously, but it's really nice and it's something that I'm going to miss. You know, I've talked about this before that I'm not gonna renew the lease, like 99% sure. I'm not sure what would happen to make me change my mind, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna renew it. That's still a ways away, but it just doesn't make sense to keep it. I don't need it. And whenever I wanna come here, I'll just get an Airbnb for as long as I wanna be here. It just, that just makes more sense. But it will be sad to say goodbye to this apartment. I just really, really like it. I love everything about it. It's not gonna be as sad as it would have been if I had like totally said goodbye to my LA life after selling my house and you know, not having this place right now. I'm glad that I have it. I'm not gonna feel that weird about not having a place here anymore. I feel like that has been accepted in the time that I've had this place. But it's gonna be weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ship so much stuff back. Like I, I gotta keep all my decor. I have been collecting so much of this stuff for years. And there's so many things that I can't wait to like have in my home in Toronto. This thing I'm obsessed with. I just love it so much. This little stack, so cute. I wish I could bring all this. Like this console, I'm gonna have to sell her and it's gonna be sad, but it has to happen. It's just gonna cost way too much money to ship this to Canada. So I just can't be done. I got a lot of stuff in here that's gonna have to go eventually. Not quite yet. When that day comes, it's gonna be weird. Either way, I'm happy to be spending a good amount of time here on this trip just so, oh, that's my timer. Just so I can enjoy it and like appreciate it while well, I have it, you know? Yum! Oh, it's so, I can, I'll never get sick of this. The one thing that I do differently that the packaging does not say to do, it says to use two tablespoons of water, but I put in way more than that. I did that one time as a mistake, and then ever since then I have kept up with it. It just makes it so saucy, like soupy. I eat it with a spoon. It's so good. And then I just add my own seasonings. I add salt, garlic, some cayenne. And then this is like an expired Trader Joe's seasoning, but I use this whenever I'm here. This guy, it's so good. Onion powder, garlic, celery seed, paprika, ground nutmeg, and dry mustard. And it's so good. Very, very thankful I was in a position to get this place instead of just like, closing this chapter 100% when I sold my house. We all know me, sometimes it takes a little longer to process some stuff. You know, like getting back here usually takes me a minute to stop being like, wow, I can't believe I'm here. So I've obviously had time to let it process and it feels good. I'm really, really grateful that I could have that time. Gonna try to go to sleep again tonight at like 10 o'clock just because I like waking up early. This is perfection to me. Like it's just so, look how saucy that is. Oh, I'm so, this was the right call. I'm so happy. Got my spoon. Perfection. It's just the sauciest. And you guys know, I am a saucy girl. All right, guys, this is where I'm gonna leave you for today. I'm gonna have 
Oh, my gnocchi, I'm gonna go to bed early and I hope that the wind doesn't wake me up again because that's not very fun. Eventually we're gonna go through with that closet and a whole bunch of stuff in here and start getting rid of stuff and figuring out what I wanna ship. Not gonna do that right now, <laughs> but eventually we're gonna have to tackle that. Should be fun. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I hope you're excited for the LA adventures. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.